All right, guys, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove this um, intake manifold tube. You can take it off. And I'm not even going to take it off. Or the air duct, and it just disconnects right there. I'm just going to disconnect it from right here, and then twist and jiggle it right there, and it should come right off, like so. Next thing we're going to do is we will take off your uh, clutch slave cylinder right here. It's the two bolts down there, the 12 millimeter bolts. Next thing we're going to do is remove this little air box here. Air box. And starting out here with a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And to remove that air box, there was the one bolt right there. Then there's also that one right there with the flashlight is on. And then there's also one right in there. The other one you can see. And then uh, there will also be a plastic piece that's kind of surrounded around that and you just slip the box out and it'll come off that little nub right there. And the next thing we're going to do is remove this bracket here. It's holding your ground cable and also the um, clutch cylinder fluid line right there. And you're going to see it is uh, one bolt right there and the other on the other side right over there. You can see it. So once we get off that once we get done with that, we'll move on to the next. Once you've got the two bolts out of that bracket right there holding your line in, you're going to take this last bracket off over here for your clutch fluid line. And then the um, clutch fluid line will be completely disconnected from the transmission. Once you've got that last clutch fluid line bracket removed, we can now move on to the starter. It's going to be uh, two bolts. I believe it's one 14 millimeter bolt up there if you can kind of see at the top and then down below there will be a 17 millimeter bolt um, right under it you can kind of feel it. it's hard for me to catch it on camera here but um once I get it removed I'll show you and uh, let's check it out. The next thing you're gonna do is remove the two wires from the starter the one will just be that uh, big boot sitting right there and does the key hold up for me on oh, right there and I'm just gonna pull that bolt over and that's a 10 millimeter bolt um, and if you scoot it just like hold it right like that and then the other one is right down there I think that one just slides off Let's see. yeah that one just unplugs you just pull that off take your two millimeter bolt and slip that off and the starter will come right off um, you also will have to make sure you get these wires and all that uh, off sitting on the top of that uh, starter and bracket and the next thing we're going to do is uh, make sure we remove all these wires connected uh, to the transmission. Um, obviously when you drop the transmission you don't want to uh, pull in any wires and break your wires off. So I start out right here with um, this little bracket here holding that reverse light wire in. I'm just going to unplug that and then just uh, work my way around and uh, make sure I get all the wires that are connected um, unhooked and free from the falling transmission so they are safe. All right, and once you've got all those wires disconnected, we got the one here, which is your backup light, and disconnect that. And then we also have a vehicle speed sensor right over there, which you disconnect, just squeeze and pull out. And that's just about it. I do believe I may be leaving something out here, but uh, you should be able to figure it out. So, next thing we're going to do is take off all the mounting, the transmission mounting bolts, and we're going to leave just one until we get ready to drop the transmission. And next step will be to lift up the car and start to do all the stuff that we need to do underneath the car.